Hello! Welcome to the channel. This is the first of four new videos Larry's filming for quick, pressure cooker convenience meals. In this session, he is fixing steamed hot dogs and buns. These taste just like what you get at the ballpark or from a street vendor. From start to finish, these can be on the table in less than 15 minutes. Let's get started. Hello y'all and welcome to the video. As Andrew just explained to you, this is the first of four quickie videos I'm making. Not shorts, but quick regular videos on dinners that you can make real quick in the pressure cooker to feed your family and particularly to feed your kids on this one. What I'm doing on this one is hot dogs with steamed buns. Steaming the buns is completely optional. If you don't like them steamed, you can toast them or heat them or whatever you want or just eat them right out of the package. But I like them steamed. This works beautifully. I've done it several times in my testing and it works great, so I'm gonna do it on these. I have four piece, uh, three pieces of aluminum foil because I'm doing three hot dogs. Then I'm gonna put the bun in. I'm gonna wrap it, not real tight, I don't want it wrapped real tight because it'll sweat and wet the bun. So we're just going to wrap it kind of loosely and do all three of them so that we can throw them in the pressure cooker with the hot dogs. When I first heard of pressure cooking the buns with the hot dogs, I thought, well, now that's not going to work. But let me tell you, it does. It's flawless. It's amazing how well it works. And your kids will love them. Well, you'll love them too. Okay, I've got all three of them wrapped and then loose in their foil. I'm going to get the pressure cooker and we'll get started with the hot dogs. We're ready to start cooking these. And for these, I'm using the new Instant Pot Rio 7.5 quart pressure cooker. It's a pressure cooker, a uh, slow cooker, sear, saute, yogurt, eggs, poultry, steamer. It does all kinds of things. And the reason I'm using it rather than my older Instant Pots is because I try to keep up with the newer and the newest and the latest of all the cooking appliances from Instant Pot and from Ninja and the rest of them because I get a lot of questions from people who's, who visit my channel, and I like to be able to answer them. This one is kind of a game changer. I'm real impressed with it. It's not very expensive. I think they're $139, and for a 7.5 quart, that's pretty amazing. I'll have a link to it <clears throat> down below, as always. So if you want to purchase one of them, you can use that link to go to it in Amazon and buy it, or go to Amazon link and just take a look at it. Let's open it up and the first thing we're going to do when we open it is pour in a cup of cold water. Make sure it's cold. You don't want hot or warm water. And I'll tell you why. These are going to actually cook. We're going to set it to cook for zero minutes. And every time I do that I have a backlash from people who are watching and they say, how can you cook for zero minutes? Well, the time that it takes for the instant pot to go from cool to full pressure is enough to cook. So what we're first of all going to do is we're going to pierce the hot dogs just four or five places and that will keep them from splitting open while they're in there. These are skinless. They're um, what brand are they? Let me look. Nathan's. They're Nathan's. They're some of my favorites. So I'm going to go ahead and put them on the rack in the pressure cooker. We don't want to put them down in the water. We're going to put them on the rack. And then we're going to put the buns that we wrapped in the aluminum foil, just throw them in on top of them. Doesn't matter how you put them in and what you do with them. Just get them in there. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit so you can take a better look at it. That's what they look like. Then we're going to put the lid on. 
on this particular pressure cooker, the valve is controlled right here so you don't burn your hand trying to open and close it. And we've got it in the closed position. Let's go to the front panel and set it up for cooking. We're going to go to pressure cook. And we're going to go to zero minutes. This particular pressure cooker doesn't let you choose whether you want low or high pressure. Nobody ever really used the low anyway, so I'm okay with that. We're at pressure cook for zero, and we're going to press start. And you can see it went to on. And we'll let it run for, it's probably going to run six to eight minutes. And then when, as soon as it cuts over to pressure, it's going to be done. And we'll do a quick release on the steam. So I'll be back and we'll do it at that time. There it went. The little light was on preheat, and as soon as it jumped over to cook, it went to zero, so it's done. We'll now let the pressure off, do a rapid release, and see what we have. Here's our rapid release. Let's use the little guy here so we divert the steam. I like these things. Smells good. These that I've done this way in my testing taste like a steamed hot dog at a ball field or a street vendor or someplace like that. They're really, really good. My daughter, Susan, works full time and also has four kids. So this is a recipe that I think she'll be able to use and will help her a lot on the weekends or in the evenings if she wants to fix hot dogs for the family. Make sure I tell her about it, although she looks at most of my videos automatically. The pin just dropped. Let's open the lid. And take the buns out. Look at those hot dogs. Let me get my little tongs and I'll show you what they look like. They look like they're perfectly done. Open these hot steamy buns. They smell like fresh bread that just came out of the bread maker or out of the bakery. Turn that to where you can see better what I'm doing. Okay, I'm not going to do the third one. You know what it looks like. Let me get some mustard and put on one. I can't have a hot dog without mustard. Let me give it a taste and I'll tell you what it tastes like. Mmm. Wow. Hot and thoroughly cooked. Tastes like a ballpark. Not a ballpark brand. But a hot dog at the ballpark. Mmm. Give it a try. See what you think of it. Leave a comment. 
and let us know what you think or if you have some way that you might fix it a little bit different, a little better, let us know and we'll give it a try. There's a link to the Instant Pot and the information below. Also a recipe for this quick fix. And we appreciate you visiting and we'll look forward to hosting you on the next visit. Take care now. As always, we appreciate you joining us for our video. If you've enjoyed the video, please press the subscribe, like, and notification buttons below. It really helps the channel. Also, you'll find a complete recipe below along with Amazon purchase links for items Larry regularly uses on the channel. This is Andrew, and we look forward to seeing you again for our next video presentation.